how do we even begin to measure the impact our species has had on coral reefs? The answer to this question might lie in the fossilized remains of a 7,000-year-old coral reef in the Caribbean. The reef was studied by scientists at the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute. We just excavated the sediment from 7,000 years ago in the Caribbean Sea, um, particularly from the western part of Panama and Dominican Republic. The material that we obtained from the coral reef sediment is the first. It has never been recorded before. It's very hard to get any fish fossils from that kind of materials. Scientists found that fishing has altered the food web, sizes and populations of several species of fish over the millennia. And they also found the first evidence for the predator release effect phenomenon. In this ecological phenomenon, the size and population of prey species goes up when the predators decrease. Observe a decline of elasmo branch. Elasmo branch is the sharks and the rays, all these uh, cartilaginous fish. The decline of this group is, is a global pattern. But you see, these are the apex predator in, the, in any of the ecosystem. Interestingly, uh, we did find their prey become larger to an extent that is um, larger than the uh, prehistorical analog. The scientists examined 807 denticles, small, scale-like structures that give shark skin a sandpapery texture. They also studied over 5,700 fish otoliths. Otoliths are calcium carbonate structures found in fish's inner ears that can help gauge the size and species of fish. Um, these, these fossils are, can, uh, can be um, recording the past fish community because um, the fish otolith uh, varies according to their different taxon, which means different fish species, they have different shape of otolith. And if you can identify them, you can you, you eventually know uh, where the fish are from, uh, which, what kind of fish they belong to. Scientists also found that smaller fish that live in coral crevices showed no change in size or abundance over the millennia irrespective of the changes occurring on the reefs and the degradation of water quality, a testimony to their resilience. Well, I would say they were eventually these were also collapse if the coral reef cannot provide that such umbrella uh, for these small sized fish. The 7,000 year old fossilized corals can help us understand what pristine oceans looked like before human industrial activities. Scientists say that more such data might even aid future conservation studies as it gives a baseline from the past that was so far missing.